Think about Heather, my wife. I fell in love with her as a teenager. I was attracted to her beauty, like inside and out. I fell totally in love with her. I was doing all sorts of dumb things to try to impress her. So there's a sense in which my love for her was prompted by her loveliness and even by her love for me. The more she loves me, the more I love her. But this is not the way a relationship with God works. Love and a relationship with God flows completely from Him. Because in our sinful nature, there is nothing in us that loves God. So this is love. Not that we loved God, but that when we were totally unlovely, God loved us. I talk with people who say, look at all that I've done in my life. Like there's no way God could love me, but there is. Because his love doesn't start with you. It starts with him. There is no sin in you that is greater than God's love for you. Just get this. This is totally different. It's not the way we think. God's love for you is not in any way dependent on you. God loves you. Why? Not because of what you do, but because of who He is. Which also means His love for you does not grow because it can't. It's perfect in the first place. Christian, you are totally free from any and every attempt to earn more love for you from God. In a world where all kinds of people love you when things are going well and don't love you when things aren't going well. In a world where we are wired to love the lovely, God loves us when we are unlovely. We have all sinned against God, we're separated from God, but God loves us. He has sent His Son to pay the price for all of our sins. He's died in our place, took the judgment we deserve upon Himself so that you and I can be forgiven of all of our sins and restored to a relationship with God. A love relationship with God forever. It's a great message. God is love. Receive the love of God in whom supernatural love exists eternally from whom supernatural love flows completely. God is love.